Hi, friends. Doc South saying uh, welcome. And I, I was just uh, wanting to say uh, what a nice uh, car show weekend, uh, car show and cruise night weekend I had uh, this um, this past weekend. Uh, out of a possible three, well, we got two in. Uh huh. Um, so let me uh, let me uh, run run down the details. Quality Automotive in Blairstown. Uh, I'm set to do that on the uh, second Friday of a given month, uh, right into September. Um, it went well. That was their initial uh, their initial hit, <laughs> and um, you know I got there. Uh, well, they're just down the street from where I work uh, at, at the uh, the supermarket I work at, so I didn't have far to commute uh, to get to it. I get there um, and I'm I'm kind of ready to set up, and it starts to drizzle a bit. And I said, "Oh boy." Uh, well, we looked at the uh, looked at the uh, you know the the weather on the computer. And it showed that the drizzle would pass, but a lot of times a uh, drizzle like that will, uh, you know, s stops everybody in their tracks. People en route say, well, I don't want to get the car all muddy, you know, which considering a lot of these cars, they, uh, <laughs> they, they clean them right down to, uh, you know, to the point of using Q-tips here and there uh, to make sure everything's absolutely perfect. Um, well, in any case, uh, they set up a, a little, uh, like a tent for me. And uh, it, we kept looking on the on the forecast, and it looked like uh, the clouds might part. So I said, you know, maybe you got people coming. You can always put me inside your garage. I can play out from there if need be. Let's see what's cooking. Well, as it, as luck would have it, a fair amount of cars came. I think forty somewhere in the forty range, which was good. Yeah, and everybody had a ball. the The one fly in the ointment was the food truck couldn't make it. It was like, well, I, and I, I can, I can see why the food truck guy might not want to come out. He geez, gets all that food ready. And then, uh, you know, two people show up that that's not good. So, uh, actually what happened, uh, we, I, I, we were all kind of sitting around, uh, it, you know, one car came, then another, and then all of a sudden you look out in the parking lot and there was like, like I said, about 40 cars there and everybody was just having a ball. The weather cleared up, bang, just like that. And uh, as far as food went, well, the, the folks at uh, Quality Auto uh, Auto Care uh, went to um, uh, went to the supermarket, I think, uh, Dale's. And uh, they mu Dale's must have had some way of cooking hot dogs up for them. And also the uh, Blairstown Diner provided hot dogs too. So we're all, everyone's running around munching on hot dogs, <laughs> drinking soda and looking at cars. What, what could be better? And uh, yeah, the music sounded really good and they've got room for expansion. They figured about 40 cars came and I'd say there's room for, uh, there's room for more. Yeah. I don't think they could hold 200 cars too easily, but you know, it, all in all, not too bad. Not too bad. It was, uh, it was a good, uh, good first start. And uh, I, frankly, something I think uh, will will uh, make the uh, the residents of Blairstown. Uh, uh, yeah, it'd be one more thing to look forward to going to see. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, chalk one uh, on the success column. The next uh, morning, I had to get up early and uh, get myself down to uh, the town I grew up in, Chester, New Jersey, for their uh, the Ch uh, the historic Chester Business Association's car show. And that went, that went about as good as a car show could go. Honestly, it did. All the cars were parked up and down Main Street and some of the side streets. Uh, lots of, uh, of course, all the stores were open. Uh, it, folks were just having a ball. And you could see it, a lot of it was, uh, boy, the COVID's gone. And, uh, or it's, it's definitely weakened and many people came out okay after the ordeal and, uh, they they were just having they 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 were, it was just amazing. As I left in years past, usually by four, time four o'clock rolls around, the town's kind of rolling in the sidewalks. But people were all over town even after the car show ended. And uh, again, just going from store to store and uh, or restaurant to restaurant, just having themselves a time. Oh, it was so good to see. It really was. After a uh, you know one really. Uh, shut down kind of year. In fact, more than a year. Uh, it it was good to see. Oh gosh, it was good. 
And then Jumbo Land. Well, it it was raining when it was time for me to head up, and uh, the I guess uh, cooler heads prevailed. But uh, Jumbo Land gets its share of uh, cars. I I don't know how many came out uh, Saturday because it kind of called me off. It did look like it was going to be. Um, it, it looked like it, it like there could have been uh, trouble. So, um, and uh, you know, I I would have been getting there around five five thirty, and well, they just thought maybe it'd be best to you know hold back if cars come. Well, they'll they'll still have fun at Jumbo and uh, you know talking amongst themselves and eating very good food up there, uh, just north of uh, Newton, actually north of the Chatterbox on Route two hundred six. A, a lovely place, and uh, I definitely plan to be there next Saturday. The Wanderers Cruise Night there, I think, is starting to grow, too. A lot of this is people just, they just got to get out of the house. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just been tough. And, oh, and then after that, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> on on uh, after... Um, uh, after, uh, again, uh, closing down from uh, Chester and getting home, uh, I, I had uh, the night shift, the midnight shift at the uh, supermarket I work at. And they <laughs> so I, uh, we, uh, I worked there all through the night from about, uh, gee, I think about 1030 at night till uh, something like 630 the next morning. Holy moly. Oh, I'll tell you the truth. I slept real good yesterday on Sunday. I didn't have any uh, any gigs lined up, so uh, my gig was with the pillow, <laughs> and I did get caught up on my sleep. Thank heaven! Oh my gosh! So um, all in all, everything I'd say worked out okay. Um, I feel bad about the Wanderers uh, show, but they'll uh, cruise night rather, and that'll. Uh, that that's a keeper too. That that one's very nice. And frankly, I think Jumbo Land's a fantastic place to go. You've got all sorts of uh, shelter. If uh, if it were to be, uh, you know, if it was too hot a day, there's lots of shade. You can park on the on Macadam, or you can park on a lawn, and there's room for many many cars, many cars. So, and again, that's uh, Saturday evenings. Um, always try to make sure I'm uh, there. I think this one particular night was, I think, the first time in a long time that I uh, that we had to call something off uh, due to the weather. Of course, with the chatterbox, we never called off. It, it just it could be a blizzard in August, and the chatterbox would be open. So, uh, um, so we yeah we had a pretty good run of uh, darn near perfect attendance uh, there. So, all in all. It was, uh, there was a lot of cars out and about and they were looking good. And uh, the nice thing was the owners were smiling, finally out of the house. Huh? Yeah, I know. I know. Anyway, I'll see you later. Uh, let, let's uh, just uh, enjoy all of summer that we can because uh, frankly, it's, uh, you, we've been given a beautiful world and it's, it's fun to get out and explore it. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and, and to be with each other. Huh? I know. I'll see you now, friends. Thank you, and God bless. Bye now.